incredible moment the world was watching 44 years ago as these two legends helped carry our nation to victory over the Soviet Union in the 1972 Summit Series. Please welcome Ken Dryden and Pat Stapleton. An honor to have you both here. First of all, looking at that footage, does it even seem like 44 years ago, almost half a century? Seems like 75 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure because we, we you, people talk about it every day, everywhere you go. Doesn't matter where you go, there's a question comes up about that. So it's gone by pretty quick. 44 years, and I think. And you're going to be part of the tour, which begins in September, doing four stops across the country. And talk to us about why it was so important. Why 44 years? Why not 40? Why not 45? Why did this all come together now to relive the Summit Series? And it could have been 40, and it could have been 45. Um, but why not now? I mean, this uh, the the occasion arose. And and the great part is, is that you, know, you have a chance, still a lot of you, to make the traveling, to be in the same place, and when you're in the same place, then it's a who knows what happens after that. And it, it's not us just going out delivering speeches, it's interacting, and, and we all have our own individual memories. We got the collective memory of what happened, but then each of us played some little role here and there that the others aren't aware of, and that's what comes out. Off the ice, so what happened in the locker rooms, what happened on the planes, what happened while eating your meals, and some of the stories you were saying you didn't even know or you won't know till you hear it played out live. Why is that? Was it so intense that you didn't have a chance to sit outside it and talk to one another about what you were experiencing? Well, I, I know for me, that, I mean, as, as the goalie, you kind of focus in any way. But I also had a disastrous start in the series in Toronto and losing 7-3, and I had to try to find my game. So I'm like this through the, the, the next seven games. I have no idea what Pat's doing, what else is going on, and I'm discovering for the first time all of these years later. Why is it so important to tell these stories and have, you know, new generations come and hear them who are hopefully in love with the sport or will get into the sport, which some say is an elitist sport because it's just too costly to participate in. What do you believe that underlying message is that players today need to take with them? I think it's um, this, this, the banner of the flag of the whole uh, operation is 28,800 seconds, which is the power of teamwork. It just shows what can happen when you have come together as a team, whether it be here at the station or in school, you create that team environment and, and anything can happen. You, you, Hollywood finish to never yeah. give up well, when the chips are down. Yeah, that, I, think, I think that was actually the legacy of the series, yeah. is that we hung in there. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we weren't so great, a lot of it, but we could have folded our tents at a certain point. And we just hung in and right to 34 seconds to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talk about foresight, Pat. There you are, boom, victory, like you said, seconds to go. Instead of just enjoying it, right, celebrating, throwing the stick up, he grabs the puck. You grab Paul Henderson's puck <laughs> and you stash it somewhere. Like Where is way, it? I like the way you say it's Paul's puck. Right? It might have been Ken's. <laughs> Ken was happy I had it. It's, um, it's just the way the game finished the last few seconds. I had the puck on my stick, bent down, picked it up. I have no re idea why, stuck it in my glove. But I'm going to tell you how I got it out of the country. Yeah, how? On, on September 10th, <laughs> I'm going to release that oh, at the Sony Center. No. Really? Yeah. Okay, can you tell uh, us where you store it? Where, yeah, it sits in the garage. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <it's> just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like amongst the tools yeah, and the I, I, I have to be careful because somebody will tear my house apart <laughs> looking for a puck. I love it. There's going to be so much laughter and memories, oh, yeah. and it's going to be a brilliant tour. Check it out. The 72 Summit Series comes to Toronto September 10th during Film yeah. Festival, no less. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get your tickets now. Breakfasttelevision.ca. Truly momentous occasion. Thank you both for being here. Thanks. And right now, Kev, we're going to throw things over to you because you know you're lucky he's not here. He would have you tell us on air. Kev, it's that journalist in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you we'll wouldn't see. have gotten away we'll with the, the garage <laughs> bit. Right, Kev? Well, 